A's Extra. We're back on the Anglers Extra pregame show here at Stony Brook Field. Chatham takes on Brewster in this road contest. I'm Joe Puccio and it's time for the manager show. I'm here with Chatham manager Tom Holiday. And Tom, yesterday with the rain out, did that affect anything with your team? Nope, nothing. We got a, enough batting practice in that um, it keeps you sharp. You just didn't have a game. So we got everything in except the game. Three lefties on the bump today for Chatham, starting with Chris Villeman. What did you like from his last start? Well, I've seen him pitch a lot out of the bullpen, and he's basically up here to try to show the pro scouts that he could be a starter. And uh, we'll let him go three, maybe four today, uh, pending, you know, he keeps his pitch count down because we're so close to the draft, we don't want to get him hurt. And uh, we'll probably have him for two, maybe three more starts. Uh, and then that'll be it for him, you know, as our guys get in uh, from the College World Series. But, uh, I mean, Chris is one of those guys that he has that little extra uh, hidden thing that lefties are lucky to have. You know, he's got deception. And his fastball has a little jump, got a good changeup. He knows how to pitch, and he likes to pitch. So, you know, you, you always want a left-hander like that. With Ray and Miller coming out of the bullpen, what do you expect from those two lefties following Villain? I, I just want to see if, if they're as good as the first time. I mean, Miller was really good, and so was Ray. And Ray's one of the guys that comes to the Cape, and people walk around going, "Who is that guy? Or where is that? Where's he from?" Then they, you know, then it's like everybody quiets down because they don't miss very many. They they miss very few players around the country scouting. Uh, and he's from Nova, and it's a small school in Miami, and there's so many baseball players in Miami, but he's a converted outfielder to pitcher, so he's kind of making his statement. This, this, this experience for him is really good. We talked about Rod Grigio's haircut a few days ago, but with his bat at the top of the starting lineup today, what are you expecting from the Cowboy? I just hope he hits like he did during the season. I mean, at the end, I thought the last month might have been his best month. And, uh, you know, Rock had surgery uh, at the end or middle of the fall. And, it, it, you know, most of the kids in their freshman year when they have surgery, they end up redshirting. But he, he did everything he had to, to to get on the field. And I admired the fact that by the time the season started, he, he answered the bell. And I thought he had a little tenderness at the beginning of the season, strictly from observation, not from anybody telling me anything. And I just kind of watched him and I... I, I saw a little drag in his body and again when you have that much you know to going on with the surgery as a freshman that's a bunch but boy the last month he turned it on so uh, you know a week or 10 days to go see the family and just do nothing um, I expect him to you know come out and be a spark plug. Doubleheader tomorrow does that change your mindset while managing? You know you keep throwing that at me very little changes my mindset about anything you know my mind's a little bit older than your mind uh, no, it's a doubleheader. It's 14 innings, two sevens. The only thing that bothers me is it's supposed to rain again, and there's a game on our field right now while we're here. So that means a lot of work for us and you know, to get the field ready. And I want the players to play baseball. I didn't bring them up here to teach them how to you know, manicure a field. And yet that's kind of part of the Cape Cod way, I guess. But uh, the weather concerns me again for tomorrow because if we lose two tomorrow, we got to make them up. And uh, again, you want them to stay as a doubleheader because it's only seven innings. Nine innings, if we were playing 18 tomorrow, now that would change your mindset a little bit about who you use in, in out of the bullpen today. But uh, we got a full bullpen tonight uh, because of the rain out yesterday. And tomorrow we should be really loaded in the bullpen. And with seven inning games and a day off, I mean, we're, we're in good shape. I mean, the, the rain out and the, and the scheduling so far has been outstanding. What's one way Chatham beats Brewster today? Uh, outscore them. We have to score more runs than they do. That's a good answer, Coach. Thanks for okay. the time. All right, buddy. That's it for the Angers Extra Pre-Game Show. Let's send it over to Ian Unsworth as we continue here from Stony Brook Field.